All right, let's see. For each process, what is the work done? Well, let's see. Calculate the work done. Okay, this one's easy, right? Work is pressure times change in volume, and the change in volume is zero, okay? Because it starts at two cubic meters and ends at two cubic meters, right? This is weird. This is like a, a enclosed gas being heated up. That's all that's happening here. So the pressure's rising, but the piston isn't allowed to move, okay? So we've answered the, the, uh, the pressure. Okay, so the pressure question is pressure rises. The volume is constant. The work is zero, right? Okay, and then what happens to the temperature? Well, the only way that you can make the pressure rise and the volume stay constant is that you've got to increase the temperature. So the temperature has to increase. With an increase in temperature, the molecules are hitting the walls harder because they're going faster, um, and therefore um, it's exerting a bigger pressure. Right, So then it says, what is the temperature at the beginning and end of this process if this is for 2.407 moles of gas? Well, I tell you what, if we figure out this temperature at the beginning of D, the temperature at the end will be twice that. I'll tell you that. Like, I'll tell you that much for, for free. But uh, we're going to use ideal gas law, so PV is NRT. So therefore, T is going to be PV over NR. Okay, PV over NR. Okay, so uh, at the beginning of D, our pressure is 400. Our volume is 2. Our moles are 2.407. And it's 8.31. So that temperature is a chilly temperature, I'll tell you that much. 400 is an exceedingly small pressure times 2 divided by 2.407 divided by 8.31. And I get 39.99, so 40 is the number we're supposed to get, right? Now, notice that we just doubled the pressure. Therefore, we would double the temperature, right? So the, the temperature at the end of D is going to be 2 times 40. Now, if you don't believe that, obviously, you can just go and do this. The, the pressure is 800, right? It's still 2 cubic meters divided by 2.40. Of course, you're going to get twice, right? All we did was it's exactly the same numbers. We just changed that pressure, right? Okay. But I know there's those of you that, you know, that don't believe that. Okay, 79.99, so that's 80. Um, Kelvins. All right, let's see. Did we answer all the questions? All right, yeah, there it is. So this is an isochoric process, right?